We are getting ready to read the last chapter of Frog and Toad, Our Friends. There are many, many books about Frog and Toad. You could probably go online to YouTube and pull up some other books if you would like to have them read to you by somebody else. Or you could find them in your stores. Or when the libraries open, there will be a lot of them for you to be able to read this summer with your parents or have your parents read them to you. So let's finish this book. Chapter five in the table of contents is called The Letter. Toad was sitting on his front porch. Frog came along and said, What's the matter, Toad? You are looking sad. Yes, said Toad. This is my sad time of day. It is the time when I wait for the mail to come. It always makes me very unhappy. Why is that? asked Frog. Because I never get any mail, said Toad. Not ever? asked Frog. No, never, said Toad. No one has ever sent me a letter. Every day my mailbox is empty. That is why waiting for the mail is a sad time for me. Frog and Toad sat on the porch feeling sad together. And then Frog said, I have to go home now, Toad. There is something that I must do. Frog hurried home. He found a pencil and a piece of paper. He wrote on the paper. He put the paper in an envelope, and on the envelope he wrote a letter for Toad. Frog ran out of his house, and he saw the snail that he knew. Snail, said Frog, please take this letter to Toad's house and put it in his mailbox. Sure, said the snail, right away. Then Frog went back to Toad's house. Toad was in his bed taking a nap. Toad! said Frog. I think you should get up and wait for the mail to come some more. No, said Toad. I am tired of waiting for the mail. Frog looked out the window at Toad's mailbox. The snail was not yet there. Toad, said Frog, you are never going to know when someone sends you a letter. No, no, said Toad. I do not think anyone will ever send me a letter. Frog looked out the window. The snail had not yet been there. But Toad, said Frog, someone may send you a letter today. Don't be silly, said Toad. No one has ever sent me a letter before, and no one will send me a letter today. Frog looked out of the window. The snail was still not there. Frog, why do you keep looking out the window, asked Toad. Because now I'm waiting for the mail, said Frog. But there will not be any, said Toad. Oh, yes, there will, said Frog, because I have sent you a letter. You have, said Toad. What did you write in the letter? Frog said, I wrote, Dear Toad, I am glad that you are my best friend. Your best friend, Frog. Oh, said Toad, that makes it a very good letter. Then Frog and Toad went out into the porch to wait for the mail. They sat there feeling happy together. Frog and Toad waited a long time. Four days later, the snail got to Toad's house and gave him the letter from Frog. Toad was very pleased to have it. The end of Frog and Toad. Also, your science projects are talking about the life cycle of a frog and how a frog turns from a tadpole into a um, full frog. So I'd like you to do that science work as well as listen to this story. I will get all of your work on Monday from the Frog Science Unit and anything else that you have done this week. Have a good week. Bye-bye.